Hey everyone! We've got some pretty intense news coming up. There's a massive solar storm on its way. If you're a science enthusiast like me, you're probably buzzing with curiosity about what this means for us here on Earth. So let's break it down. First off, what exactly is a solar storm? A solar storm occurs when the sun releases large bursts of energy in the form of solar flares and coronal mass ejections. These can send streams of charged particles hurtling towards Earth. Think of it as the sun sneezing and we're about to get a face full of cosmic particles. Now the storm that's headed our way is anticipated to be one of the largest we've seen in years. But don't panic, this isn't a doomsday scenario. However, it does have some significant implications, especially for our technology. One of the primary concerns is our satellites. These little guys are crucial for everything from GPS navigation to international communications. A strong solar storm can disrupt these signals, causing everything from minor glitches to complete blackouts. Imagine trying to use your phone's GPS and it just doesn't work. Yeah, not ideal. And it's not just satellites that are at risk. Solar storms can also induce electric currents in power lines, potentially leading to widespread power outages. Remember the great blackout of 1989 in Quebec? That was caused by a solar storm. So, if you're stocking up on candles and batteries, you're not overreacting, you're being prepared. Airlines might also need to reroute flights. High altitude flights, especially those near the poles, are more susceptible to increased radiation levels during a solar storm. So, if you have travel plans, keep an eye on updates from your airline. On a more positive note, get ready for some spectacular auroras. These natural light displays, commonly known as the northern and southern lights, could be visible much farther from the poles than usual. So, even if you're in a place where you don't typically see them, you might get lucky this time. So, what can you do to stay safe and informed? First, keep an eye on updates from NASA or other space weather agencies. They're really good at monitoring these events and will provide timely information. Also, consider unplugging non-essential electronics to protect them from potential power surges. In conclusion, while a massive solar storm sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, it's a natural phenomenon that we've survived before and will again. Stay informed, stay prepared, and maybe get ready to enjoy a light show in the sky. That's it for today. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up.